Wow! Libraries are magical places. There are so many books and activities and things to do here. If you've never been to a library, check it out. And at libraries, you can check out books and all kinds of things for free. Take them home and then bring them back and get something else. It's amazing. Let's look for Megan. I see you. Hi, Megan. Hi, Miss Penny. How are you? Good. And you are a librarian at the NSU Alvin Sherman Library. I sure am. And it's an amazing place here. And look at that. There's all books about librarians. This one actually is about bats at the library. This book will actually read itself to you. You just turn it on here, and then every time you turn the page, it reads you a new part of the story. Oh, how wonderful. I know, I love these books. And we also have regular books like you're used to reading, and we have e-books and e-audiobooks so that you can read them on your computer or your parents' iPad. How do you read it on your computer? You just log in with your library card, pick the book you want to read, and boom, there it is. So you don't even have to go to the library for nope, that? No, the library comes to you. Wow. What I want to do next is find some books to read for story time. So yes. I don't know what I want to read about. Do you have any ideas? I was thinking a B word would be good. Maybe a book about birds. Oh, B for books, B for birds. Uh, That's perfect. Yes. Let's go ask my other librarian friend, Miss Serena, if she can help us find some books about birds. OK. So we're going to walk over to the reference desk, and that's where you go to get help whenever you're at the library. Hello, Miss Serena. Hi, Miss Megan. Hi, Miss Penny. Hi. So today we were hoping to find some books about birds for story time, but I can't remember where to find them. You can find more books about birds in the 598 section. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye. Librarians love to help, and they'll help you find where the book is inside the library. So librarians have to know a lot about books. What other kind of things do librarians do? So uh, we do a lot. We do programs like story time and STEM mm -hmm. programs. We order all the books that we find in the library. So we want to make sure you guys always have the best new books to read. That's incredible. So you have to know your alphabet. Oh, for sure, because we put I our books them. in order by the author's last name. So authors whose last names start with H through L or E through H are found right in this section. So if we were looking for a book and it was by, hmm. Right, but the author's last right. name is Lies. It's under? Lies for his last name. Exactly. Bats at the beach. Think of some more words that start with the letter B. Hmm. Maybe our Kid Vision Kid friends can help us. The letter B. Mm -hmm. I can think of something that's bouncy. <gasps> a ball? And I can think of something that you rock. A baby. Can you think of any other things that start with the letter B? Good job. So let's go find some books about birds. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right over this way. Okay. Let's go, Miss Penny. So over here, we have books about big cats. It's not right. We have books about bears. Still not right. And oh, Miss Penny, I found it. Here's the section for books about birds. I love it. And look at that. This is the cover of the book. And this is the back of the book, which gives us lots of information about what's inside the book. Exactly. And what is this called? This is called the spine of the book, and it has the author, the illustrator, the title. Terrific. Let's look inside. Sure. Oh, this is the title page. It says the title of the book, the author, and the illustrator. But you know, Ms. Megan, for story time, I'd really like to find a storybook about a bird. Oh, perfect. Let's go find it. It's a great book. You are brilliant. Good job. We have a big version of this book that's great for story time and more story time supplies and a special office just for librarians. Let's go. Okay. 
And this is like the magic closet. It sure is. I already put everything we need in this purple box, but I also wanted to show you some of my other books we have, like this pop-up book. Do you know what a pop-up book is, Miss Penny? Show me. So a pop-up book, like the itsy bitsy spider, instead of being flat like a regular book, it's three-dimensional, which means the images pop out at you. Wow, have you ever seen a pop-up book? Okay, let's see. So here we go. Oh, here's our big book. Wow, that is a big book of a little book. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. So if you can carry that, Okay. I'll carry the prop box and we'll go practice for story time. On to story time. There are two characters in the story. Would you like to be the bus driver or the bird? The bus driver. Perfect, I'll be the bird. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. Miss Megan, that was such a fun book to read. It reminds me of a song I know. Oh, is it The Wheels on the Bus? Yes. I love that song. Can we sing it? Let's do. The, the wheels on the bus go round and around, round and around, round and around. The wheels on the bus go round and around. All around the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. All around the town. That was so much fun. Thank you for singing with me. I love that song. So we're going to close out our practice story time with the letter of the day. And today's letter is the letter that's right, it's the letter B. So inside my box, I have lots of puppets that start with the letter B. Can you wow. guess what the first one is? Let's see. Let me see if I can get it to fly on out of here. <gasps> oh, it's a beautiful butterfly. And butterflies start with the letter B. Perfect. And you know what? I see birds on your blue dress. So many bees at story time today. So many. Let me see what I can find. Bzz, 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 bzz. What is this? A bumblebee. And he goes right with my flowers. He can have a little drink. Oh, I love bumblebees. <laughs> I do too. Let's see what's next. Oh, this one's bigger. It's a wow. big, big, big <gasps> bison. That is a good B word. Thank and one you. more thing. Oh. Mm, look at him. He's a sweet brown bear. So cute. We found lots of things with the letter B. Thank you, Miss Megan, for telling us all about what librarians do, letting me participate in the story time practice. It's really fun and amazing. Well, thank you so much for visiting the library today. I can't wait till I see you again here soon. Please call me anytime. I would be happy to help you. Bye. Bye. and girls, it's Miss Penny. Put on your thinking caps. It's time to learn a new word. Big book. A big book is an extra large version of a regular size reading book. Big books are good for shared story times. What was that word? Big book. Good job. Ebook. An ebook is a book set up in a digital file instead of on paper so it can be read on an e-reader or an app. What was that word? E-book. Good job. Pop-up book. A pop-up book is a book with pages that pop up when open into three-dimensional story pages. What was that word? Pop-up book. Good job. Story time. Story time is a time when a story is read aloud to children. What was that word? Story time! Good 
job. See you next time.